Welcome to Spaghetti Moon's character modelling tutorial. Uh, in this part of the tutorial we're going to be modelling the head, which I'm sure you'll agree is a very important part of our character. If you've not worked with nerves before, uh, I'd go back and download uh, the Spaghetti Moon basics of uh, curves and nerves uh, tutorials from spaghettimoon.co.uk and uh, that should get you familiar enough to start with some of the tools we're going to be using. Now we're going to be outlining the mouth. Uh, the best way to model a mouth is to generally have things called lines of force which are edges which sort of em emulate the muscles that we have in our face. Obviously we can't make uh, a mesh that would emulate the mus muscles of our face exactly but we can do a sort of fairly general approximation. So I'll just show you what I mean there. We're going to be creating a mesh. I'll just bring this up and uh, something like this. Since we're only doing half and then we're going to mirror it down the middle so it's symmetrical. These are the kind of the edge loops we're going to be using and as you see that these lines of force that pull that up and you kind of smile and one right down there and uh, you can do the sculpting for the nose using the edge loops and then same for the eye and uh, we are creating edges uh, except for these are separate and we're going to join them up together and then we're going to convert it into a mesh so what we're going to be doing is basically making a uh, a mesh using nerves so it's not a particularly organic form of modeling that we're going to be using nerves for it's just uh, kind of easier to make a flat uh, mask for the face using nerves rather than polygons okay let's get straight in there and uh, add a surface curve for a character as simple as this I think I'll use about seven CVs uh, we'll add more vertices, I mean CV sorry, and edges when we convert this into a mesh uh, for easier control so so I don't need to zoom out, it's going to be quite big. Uh, go add spacebar, add surface, nerves curve. Okay, I'll scale that down, S. And sort of line it up with this blue line. I'm not sure if you can see that there. That's the Z axis. And uh, fortunately, the image I've got is quite low resolution. So it's kind of hard to see. But uh, we're just blocking it out so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to change my curve to end point so the I've got floating ends. There we go. Okay. Right, seven CVs as I said. So just sort those out. And it's Control Left Click to create more CVs. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can kind of get them pretty much lined up. As I said, it's not hugely important because we are just blocking the whole thing out. Right, so now we've added uh, the extra CVs, we're going to be doing a fairly sim simple uh, process which is going to consist of extruding, scaling, moving and, uh, and we're just going to repeat the process. So let's add another curve but we'll scale it inside to, uh, and if you've seen the two tutorials before you'll see an extrude actually makes uh, a surface. So press E for extrude then uh, right click to cancel the operation and scale scale it down and uh, that's just going to be the basis for our lips and we can extrude that inward for the mouth when we go to do that okay and now we're just going to I don't know extrude maybe four or five times to create the, the cheek and the bottom half of the face so uh, right click to select a CV and if you press uh, shift R it will select different uh, along the U and the V because the nerves surfaces have got uh, two coordinates because they're essentially 2D uh, commodities. So you uh, you've got the U and the V, and pressing Shift I can switch between them. Okay, so extrude again, right-click to cancel and scale out. Well, what we're going to start to want to do now is, I think we'll lower the. I said that it wasn't going to be a particularly organic uh, model, so if we just lower the order a bit, maybe the resolution too. Yeah, that's okay. Just so it's really we don't we've only got one element there, which is the that we're essentially just using the cage to create our mesh. It's not a mesh now; it's a surface. But I'm not sure you understand. Yeah, so just move it so they're pretty even. Uh, that's okay. But remember, we've got to keep these. Uh, Lines of force fairly uh, neat. Got them jagging around everywhere. Okay. 
Okay, so extrude, right click, scale, move, and I think that'll be okay for that part of the mouth. And then we'll just do a few bigger extrudes to do the lower half of the face. So right click, shift R. If you wanted to select a a line going downwards, of the of the, uh, the U or the V, it, it toggles between them. Screws don't have to be big; you can actually just sort of alter them so they're a lot bigger. But you've got to think about how the face is going to move and how it's going to look. You may want to mess around with the other resolution yourself too. You might prefer to have a, a much more curved and organic mesh, but I, I don't. Not when it comes to doing something like this, because we are just blocking it out. It's not really. Uh, I'll just press there to go into wireframe. And now these parts will pretty much been going underneath the the face to create the chin when we go to sculpt it out a bit. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the bottom of the face. And, uh. Yeah. I think that's okay. Alright. Now we're going to use the same technique uh, to make the eye. But we're going to use a closed curve instead because obviously it's a uh, circular. Oops. So we're in the, whilst we're in edit mode for this particular curve, we'll just go add. Uh, I think we'll just no, we'll use an earth curve and close that up instead of a circle. So they're essentially part of the same element. <coughs> this will save us having to join them when we convert them into mesh me meshes. <laughs> okay. It's a good idea to have them. Uh, it's pretty much the same amount of CVs because it's a kind of um, they, they've sort of got to line up. Six, seven, and we close that up. Oh. Uh, just select those. Kind of thing. There we go. That should be a okay. game. Um, you might want more detail towards the bottom because that's where we're going to be collect, uh, connecting them up directly but it's not hugely important see that will go straight up there and that will connect to there, that will connect to there, that will come around and connect to there and then we'll extrude the edge upwards to create the top of the head when we convert it into a mesh so uh, pretty much the same technique, extrude oh, oh dear Good. Put the cursor there. Okay. See, that was, uh, was extruding from the center of the cursor, so I just placed that pretty much in the center of the eye. So, whoop, extrude. Scale. Uh, that's sort of facing the wrong way. What we could do is. I'll just go back. And so the curve is unclosed, and that should. Fix the problem, or it hasn't. <laughs> Never mind. Um, it doesn't matter anyway. We can just flip the normals when it comes down to it. Uh, okay. And again, like the mouth corner. Uh, what are we doing? Ah, that's a common mistake to make. I always go to select all when I'm working on an object. I keep on uh, extruding ones before up. Uh, We'll just put a quick extrude inward so we create the eye socket where we're going to place the eye. And there we go. Might want to put a few extra, uh, an extra edge loop around there for the socket. And, uh. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm actually going to put the resolution right down. Oops. I think that's okay. Oops. Yeah. 
Mm -mm, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it, so we'll just do a couple more extrudes. <laughs> 